Today, communities across the world and right here in mid-Michigan helping to raise awareness in the fight against HIV and AIDS. It's World AIDS Day, and right now, a candlelight service is being held at the Anderson Enrichment Center in Saginaw. The event is free and open to the public. A former Saginaw Lumber Baron's home is slated to be transformed into an architectural museum. The Castle Museum today announced that it's buying the, 19, or the 1886 home known as the Hill House for $1. As we told you last month, the city of Saginaw had requested the State Historic Preservation Office that it be allowed to demolish that home. Now it appears that not only will it be saved, but restored to its former glory. A couple of sisters helping make Christmas a little brighter for local children. The two dropped off about $1,000 worth of toys in the TV5 Toys for Tots donation bin in Saginaw. Neither of the women has children, but tell us they believe that kids should have Toys for Christmas. TV5, of course, a proud sponsor of Toys for Tots. Big birthday for a big name here in mid-Michigan. Dorothy Zender turned 90 years old today, the matriarch of all things Bavarian Inn. Dorothy can still be found in the kitchen nearly every day, whipping up the homestyle goodness that restaurant has been known for. I really cherish when these people, that my friends come in here to eat, and that's uh, very rewarding that uh, they have enough confidence that they know their food is going to be good. Family business is now in its fourth generation, and Dorothy is still going strong. <laughs> More than $100,000 going to the Friends of Hoyt Park this weekend. Garber Management Group and the Saginaw Spirit Foundation will donate the money at Saturday's Spirit Game at the Dow Event Center. The Friends Group says they'll use the money to reestablish the park's skating rink. Once it's open, they'll need volunteers to help keep it up and running. For information on how you can help, go to the hotlink section of WNEM.com. Now with coverage you can count on, this is your WNEM TV5 First Warn 5 forecast. Good evening. We had dry conditions in place across all of mid-Michigan earlier on today, but all that's going to change in the next couple hours. We have our next batch of snow showers working their way in, and we'll see some light accumulations by tomorrow morning. Check out our first one, fine pinpoint Doppler radar and MBS, where all is dry. But again, that'll be changing in just a few hours. Let's take a look at our live cam network right now in Saginaw. It's current temperature there at around 38 degrees. Winds are currently out of the south southwest at about eight miles per hour, but most areas dealing with the overcast conditions and that's the same story for Bay City right now at 38 degrees and it is 36 in the Flint area. Now temperatures today topped out in the upper 30s at around 40 degrees and that's where they should be. Looks like in the next couple days we'll have those temperatures a little bit cooler but currently we're in the mid to upper 30s. Mount Pleasant though is in the low 40s. Now as far as those temperatures are concerned it looks like back out to the west we do have some cooler air that's going to shift in by tomorrow. Daytime highs only in the low to mid 30s but it looks like by the weekend those temperatures temperatures will be back up into the upper 30s where they should be, but we will be dealing with these snow showers taking place in the overnight. Right now you can see areas in northern Michigan tip of the mitt dealing with a rain and snow mix, but by the time that system makes its way into mid Michigan, we will be seeing all of that change over to snow with those light accumulations on tap by tomorrow morning. So let's time all that out with your first one five 40 dollar future cast by eight this evening. You can see mostly snow, maybe a little bit of mixing near the lake shore and for areas near Houghton Lake and Oscoda. In a motion we go by after midnight, you'll see mostly snow showers in the tri cities extending into areas of the thumb, but this band of moisture off to the east by tomorrow morning, but with that fresh layer of snow on the road surfaces, you're going to be wanting to look out for um, just some tricky travel by tomorrow morning. So that'll be around seven o'clock by the afternoon, though, we will see some breaks in the cloud cover and those temperatures eventually topping out in the mid 30s. Now the dry conditions are going to take you through Friday night into your Saturday, but we are watching for another system which is going to move in Saturday night into your Sunday. That's this system just off to the south end of the west as it collides with that cooler air, you're going to see more mixing and we're going to have a rain and snow mix on the way again for Saturday night into your Sunday. Now, as far as snow totals are concerned for the overnight, it looks like most areas will be dealing with around an inch of new snow accumulation. But when you factor in those wind chill values, it looks like um, when you factor in actually the lake enhancement, I should say, we could see some locally heavy areas at around two inches. Now in your seven day forecast, once the snow moves through the area, it will be dry actually for for the next couple days. Friday looks dry. Saturday also looks dry, but we are watching for that rain and snow mix Saturday night into your Sunday with a few lingering snow showers on tap. Just a slight chance for your Monday and Tuesday with those temperatures back to normal by um, 
the weekend, but it looks like they'll still be a little bit chilly with highs in the upper 30s. Everyone just get your gloves on and the, you know, it's just going to be cold from here on out. It hey? certainly <laughs> is. It's December. <laughs> yeah, right. Thanks, Kevin. Matthew Stafford taking the gloves off for this weekend showdown in New Orleans. Jason Fielder has that next.